What's up, MVP? Welcome back to another Johnny Brento's Juju with your host, me, Brent Bowers, giving you the update from probably last Tuesday until today, which is Monday, <laughs> as per usual, on Johnny Brento's Juju. So, what's been happening? Well, actually, we got some things accomplished this week, which is pretty cool. Um, it looks like Mutitious Movie Morgue is essentially edited, but for some special effects and uh, you know sound design and things of that nature. But as far as the cut, I think I can safely say that Strebo finished up the cut on this past Sunday. So that's awesome. That means we got plenty of time to put the bells and whistles on before Halloween and we could have a lovely old Halloween screening some way, somewhere. So that's pretty cool. I know that all of you that were involved in that project will be looking forward to that because I know I will. Um, and on the upside, the episode is very, very funny. So, you know, imagine getting to watch George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead with, uh, with a really, really funny uh, Elvira-esque... I shouldn't say Elvira-esque. Obviously, this is everything... Horror Hostess is inspired by Elvira, but we do our own spin on it. So, Mutisha the Movie Goddess-esque skits and um, commentary. So, it's it's pretty funny. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And I'm glad we've finally gotten this to the point where it looks like it's going to happen. And uh, very stoked about that. Um, what else has happened? Well, uh, <clears throat> I was able to... Uh, I actually got an interesting call Friday night inviting me to come and play uh, with a church band in Oakborough for a, uh, I think they had like some sort of a, a series of services, special deal, kind of like a three-day thing and ending up on Sunday night, so they wanted to have the band, so we showed up, uh, Todd and I showed up and uh, had about an hour practice, uh, practice two songs, the first of which uh, had some kind of a complicated arrangement and uh, we, we managed to get through that and we performed that song and uh, and I'd have to give us a B I think it was definitely it was it was good but you know it could have been better but just the ex limited exposure to it limited practice but the Saga song was a little more simple and really more about dynamics <clears throat> Todd and I have been playing together for over 20 years so anything that involves just intuiting what the other person is going to do and dynamics we're going to naturally have a leg up on that and I thought that went really really great now in my mind I was thinking we'll play you know maybe a total of 10 or 12 minutes <laughs> not so we actually ended up playing non-stop for 2.5 hours <clears throat> how is that done with just two songs you ask well the first song we played that that was done the second song we played it and at the end of it instead of stopping we just kind of came down and mess with those chords coming all the way down to just the keyboard at one point sometimes the keyboard and drums sometimes the keyboard drums and bass sometimes bass and guitar uh, depending upon what was going on and they sort of used it as a musical backdrop to the uh, the message and three or four people got up and preached over that kind of uh, you know music and, uh, and when they would come up the band would come up you know they would start shouting the band would play loud they would start whispering the band would play low it was really really awesome uh, it was very very fun and it seemed to be well received there's probably about I don't know, 80 to 100 people in there. I guess it was a uh, it was a packed place, uh, and it was it was fun. I really really enjoyed that. And uh, I actually I was thinking, man, way to use the band, way to use the music. I mean, that's what it's there for. You know, that's the definition of making a joyful noise. A joyful noise is some, not somebody <clears throat> singing off key. Unfortunately, I think I think the, there's this idea, you know, in, in Christianity that it's just the thought that counts. No. Nah. You know, a joyful noise is a joyful noise. An off-pitch noise is not a joyful noise. These are my opinions, of course. I don't know that that's in the Bible anywhere, but uh, that's just my thoughts on it. And uh, we, there were four singers, and they all did really, really good. Four singers, a drummer, a keyboardist, and then Todd and I, myself on bass, Todd on guitar, we came in and uh, filled it out. And it was it was just really, really fun. I probably had as much fun at that show as I did at any of the shows with my former band playing, you know, covers and honky tonk. So that was cool. Very cool indeed. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> in addition to that, my daughter Summer turned 17, had a brief little birthday party for her, for which she showed up 20 minutes late for, not happy about that late arrival, but, you know, at least
least we were able to give her a little Hello Kitty birthday party like she wanted, and that was kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> you know, she's at that age where she thinks she's grown, which, you know, 17, you really get, you don't get any stupider than that, that's for sure. Um, you all have been there probably, you remember, you remember how it is to think you know everything, and then life and steps up, smacks you in the mouth, and says, nah, <laughs> you don't know everything. Pay that rent, pay that cable bill, pay that electric bill. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, so moving right along, I'm going to be meeting up with uh, MVP player Donnie Christensen to check out his Star Force 7 work and maybe play a little music tomorrow night. Looking forward to that. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, and then apart from that, just uh, doing my little pieces on uh, Mutitious Movie Morgue, uh, little After Effects work that has to be done, title sequences. Um, and also working on the Absolute Zero music video, kind of waiting on some music from Mr. Todd on that. He recorded it on a separate uh, audio recorder so we would have a better uh, audio version than, than what the cameras picked up. But I uh, got all the pieces in place, I think. And uh, yeah, in addition to that, talked to uh, Uncle Strebo about uh, being on a, some future episodes of uh, MVP Mutant Radio. And a couple of the things that came up we, in the past, we've mentioned we were going to do a, uh, we've, we've did, done a, a show on the film Feast, and uh, we talked about following that up with a show on um, the uh, sequel to Feast, you know, Feast 2, and, uh, and then maybe even Feast 3 eventually. Uh, I picked up the entire series of Ultraman, Ulataru Man, uh, from Amazon, shipping included like 1187, that's 39 episodes. Uh, as a child, you know, myself and so many others watched this show and just loved it. And uh, But I never got to see the entire, you know, run as a kid. Uh, and, and I'm sure I never saw until yesterday the origin episode, which is really cool. Because, uh, I mean, I knew the origin, but I never saw it. So that was cool. And uh, just getting to go through that whole thing. Also, Strebo being a big fan of Ultraman, we might do a show focused on the Ultraman TV series from Japan, 1970, I don't know what. Uh, but um, that should be really fun. And then also there was discussion about maybe doing a show on the Witchblade series, which I thought, starring Yancey Butler, which I thought was really excellent. Uh, maybe Tremors, a Tremors-themed show, uh, covering Tremors and the sequels and the TV show. Uh, of course, many of you will know that Tremors is my favorite film, so uh, that could be fun. Good stuff, you know, things that we could do in, in the future to make keep that show you know, happening and alive, and then maybe, uh, of course, the focus of the show is on on recent recent happenings in you know cinema, recent movies, uh, things that we're all going to see. And we talked about potentially doing a Total Recall show, which I have seen, but Strebo has not. If he's able to get out and see it, we may do an episode on Total Recall, Re Total Recall, uh, the recent you know remake, and maybe to also touch on the original, which is a film I also really liked a lot. Uh, I think I'm rambling now, and we're getting close to that 10-minute mark, so I'm going to sign off for now, and uh, I'll be back next week with more. Hope you guys are having a great week, and uh, we'll see you when we see you. But not if I see you first.